Hello everybody, welcome again to my channel. Here we have a, I have a, I'm going to put in seven or eight tips that will help you around the house. This is one of really interesting ones that when you make a shake or you blend something in the blender, uh, you know, you have the blender and I just made a shake for my son and me. And then you got all these in there, right? It's a really good shake, strawberry, banana, and uh, peanut butter, and uh, other stuff I can't think of right now. But anyways, I'm going to show you guys how to clean that without even having to use the... You know, you have to rinse it out in the sink and clean it out, and then there's a blade right there. So I'm going to show you guys real quick. Stay tuned. Okay, so here we go. We pour the shake in our cups. And we already drank it. Now we have this messy thing, hard to get into, you know? It's like, man, how did I clean that? I got to stick a dish for soap, I mean, a uh, sponge in there. No, really, you don't really have to do all that. Just uh, grab some water, fill it up with some hot water to about three quarters of it. You know, uh, more so, uh, put some soap, some dishwashing soap in there. Put about two of those. And uh, put some, uh, if you got some uh, white vinegar, do that. Or, uh, but if you have that, you just put some uh, uh, apple cider vinegar. Just put a little vinegar, it helps it sterilize it. And then uh, put the lid on there. Put the lid on there and crank it up. Let it run for a few minutes. I'll start cleaning it. All the foam will get in there. Uh, and it'll be so much easier to clean after you're done with that. Okay, now that you're, you let it run for about two to three minutes, uh, you'll see the lid is clean. Just rinse it out with some soap. Uh, it's nice and soapy. Just rinse it out. Dump all the soap out. And, uh, we have it nice and clean. All you just rinse it out, and uh, you can clean it if you want. But it'll be easier, you know, if you uh, instead of trying to clean all that out and drag the sponge up in there and sharp blade in there, you know. So uh, there's a tip. I have a few more tips though. I have a, a, a one for the clean the microwave. If you guys stay tuned, I will I'll be showing you guys how to clean that. This microwave right here, without even having to scrub anything. So stay tuned, and I'll show you guys right now. Yep, and also we'll be showing you guys how to peel a garlic so fast. You know how some garlics can get really fast to peel, hard to peel, and you have to peel them out? Well, I got a technique that will do it in less than, uh, I don't know, 10 seconds, I guess. And how to sharpen a pencil, okay, without a pencil, pencil sharpener. Also, we have a basketball net, how to fix the basketball net without having to, uh, you know how that little metal parts on there break and you have these hanging and you have issues well I got a really cool technique you can use no I'm not using tape or some wire or some kind of a metal wire or nothing like that okay so stay tuned another I got is uh, how to clean your fruit you know it's your little drops you know fruit carries a lot of uh, bacteria a lot of uh, inf infections you can get from a uh, fruit if you don't wash it correctly well this one you just drop a little bit of drops on your uh, fruit I mean, on the water, so I think it's one drop per liter, per uh, liter. So every liter you put a drop of this. You can find this in the grocery stores where the fruit section is. If not, you can always ask. Uh, there's different kinds you can use. So I'm gonna be doing a little uh, talking a little about, about that. And um, another one I got is uh, it's how to ripe your avocados fast. Like these avocados are are they're very hard. Uh, so I want to ripe them fast. Well, what you do is just you're supposed to keep people keep them in a dark place. So really, just keep them in a dark place, and, uh, and 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 the next day they should be ready to go. Okay. Sometimes you can get them at the store and not they're not ripe. Well, this is a good way to do it. So stay tuned. I'm gonna show you guys these tutorials right now. I'm gonna show you guys the microwave, how to clean the microwave. So it's really easy. Grab a container that's uh, gonna be able to not to break or explode inside the microwave. Make sure it's, it's microwave proof. So put some water, put some vinegar. It's it's preferred if you have white vinegar. But put half half of a uh, vinegar on there and half water. Okay. Oops, I must have filled it up too much. Okay. So about there, put it in there. Okay. See all this stuff is really stuck. You know, I'm not even kidding. This stuff is stuck. Okay. All this stuff. See that? Not coming off. Okay. So close it. Put about. We'll start with. We'll put two minutes on there. And then we'll wait. We'll see what happens. Okay. I don't know if you guys can see now, but it's getting foggy in there. You can't really see anything. It's getting foggy. It's spraying all uh, around the uh, 
the uh, microwave inside and moisture and everything out, heating up. You can see the water boiling in there. So stay tuned. We're gonna see what happens after two minutes. Okay, after two minutes, let's check it out in there. Oh, the water evaporated into the microwave. Now let's find out if we can clean these walls. Oh yeah, look at that. You can just wipe right off. See that? See that back of that wall right there? Just take this out. And look at that. Clean. See how that works? Uh, it's not easy to come off. Everything comes off right off. See that? Um, clean your microwave okay so just see wipe that out BAM look at that look at that look at that look at that Wow! look at that see how easy that is all this stuff that was stuck from uh, days or whatever it's all gone okay so if you like that uh, give me a big thumbs up you can clean the door too all this stuff should be clean right off so uh, there's one of the hacks that I can uh, share with you guys and uh, stay tuned, I got more coming. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how to peel garlic. You know, if you peel garlic uh, by hand, it really takes a long time to try to peel one garlic, but you throw them in the bowl, you throw six, seven, eight garlics, and uh, just kind of just shake the bowl. Shake the bowl, open them up, and garlic should be easy to peel now. Peels right off, comes right off. See that? See how easy that came off? It kind of loosens up the uh, the garlic to be able to easy, peel it easily. Peel. See how fast that peels? It kind of you beat on. Look at, just slides right off. See that? So that's like easy way to peel your garlic. Look at that. Look at that. Bam! Just slides right off. Okay. If you like the hack and you like the idea, give me a big thumbs up. You can put more than five garlics. You can use a longer container, a bigger container, just shake it in there and peel your garlics really fast, guys. There you go. Thanks a lot. Next hack is uh, you're looking for a sharpener. You don't have a sharpener, and now you guys have pencil. Your kids are doing school, and you don't have time to go, you know, buy a sharpener. You can't find it. You know what? Go to the kitchen and find your uh, potato peeler. You know, and that'll work. You guys can see I got one already here, right here. So just, you know, start sh sharpening your pencil because it really works. Probably my kids are gonna use it, you know. It really works, as you guys can see right there already. See how it's just, you see that right there, it's, it's already working. So just kind of, you know, sharpen it like a, uh, like you would a, a, a pencil. Just be gentle. And uh, you should be able to uh, to get the pencil as you want. See that? So there you go. You can make it really smooth if you want. Really nice and sharp. Okay, so there you go. I'm not lying. There's your hack right there. So there's another hack for you guys. Don't struggle trying to find a pencil sharpener. You know, this is safe. It's not going to cut your fingers off. Just, you know, do that. and. Uh, if you want to, don't want your children that you can do for them, something you can uh, do for them real quick. So thanks, you guys, and subscribe and like to all my videos. I got more coming, so thanks a lot. So here we have a basketball court that needs to be uh, fixed, and I show you guys the whole, show you guys a tip how to fix this. So we have a uh, uh, this rim right here. These things broke off right here, one and two right there, and I'm gonna show you guys how to fix that right now. So. Uh, it's not gonna be something that's gonna hurt the basketball. It's not gonna be in the way. It's really simple. Just stay tuned. Okay, uh, so here we go. Uh, what do we need? Really? This. Zip, zip ties, whatever you wanna call these things. Um, just wrap it around here. And uh, tying it right there. <sighs> And just make sure it's pointing down so the basket or point is point out. Okay, so um, and there you go, there you have it. And you do the other one for the same, for the other one. Just point in there. 
zip it and cut it. Okay, there you guys have it. There's the basketball court. It's not gonna be on the way. You can turn on the basketball here for a little friendly. So uh, give a big thumbs up, subscribe and like guys, and thanks very much.